So this is the top flight giant scale B47 Razorback. Uh, just recently got this. And I was just going to do a quick video um, showing what I found uh, as I'm starting to put it together. Um, so here it is. Um, this is the covering, untouched. This is how it came out of the box. And what I've done so far is I have installed a rudder and these hinges that come with it. Um, each hinge, the hinge point is coated with grease and then the hinges are installed with uh, epoxy with a filler. And then once you're done, you give it a, a pull test from hell just to make sure that it is not going to come loose. And uh, so these have all passed. This is where the elevator goes and what you have is you have two uh, aluminum tubes that go through here and they fit uh, very tight. You almost think something's wrong, but they're, they're a tight fitting aluminum. The elevator has then slide on and then you glue it. It's not fixed with screws where you can take it on and off. Uh, they tell you to put it on with adhesives. Uh, this rod is for the elevator. Um, there's a little plastic piece that glues over here. This is this is wood. This is all wood, but this part is fiberglass. And the canopy fits past it. It fits in this area. This area here. And the firewall, I don't know if you can see it, but the firewall has been marked for both DLE 55 and DLE 55 rear exhaust. Uh, holes. Um, let's take a look at the wings. Here's the wing. Um, aileron came pre-hinged. The flap came pre-hinged. Here's your location for your flap servo, location for your aileron servo. And there is a cover here, it's off right now, that's for the the retrux and you see the wood it looks to be pretty beefy notice glue there's glue in there and there's a reason I'm saying that um, pocket for the wheel and here's the the end now this is uh, this rectangular hole there is for the spar now the spar is a three piece you put it together it's uh, two pieces of wood sandwiching a piece of aluminum so you glue that together and then um, put it in and glue that. The wing, this is covering. Um, this is how it came out of the box, not been touched. Um, pretty impressed with it. It's a good covering job, it's uh, better than I can do. And here is the elevator. Elevator half, here's uh, your holds go. You can see there's they don't have it set up to, to screw on. Um, Pre-hinged and I gave it a pretty good pull trying not to damage it because um, when I give a pull test I'm talking about I mean I'm, I'm taking it and using both hands and pulling uh, without destroying it I'm pulling really hard because uh, if it's going to move I'm going to fix that now. Um, one information that it did come with it does tell you to pull the hinges check them which is a good idea but it does say if you have any movement to hit it with some thin CA and I'm not sure if thin CA is the right type of glue for these uh, pocket type hinges but anyway um, well let's turn it over and look at the business side and show you what I have come across and one of the reasons I'm doing this video um, Okay, here's the underside. This is where your servos go, control rods. And this is where the um, tail wheel, retractable tail wheel goes. Um, these two holes here line up with these two here. And right here is where your tail wheel servo goes. Now the rudder servo is here. This is the rudder servo and this is the control. 
for the rudder. Um, however, pieces like this brace here, it, it didn't have any glue on it, it was loose. Uh, same with the other side there, there was no glue there. So I've gone in with a brush and some uh, adhesives and, and hit everything in there, just make sure everything's got some glue on it. Uh, up here, this is your wing bolt down. Uh, that has glue now, but this piece here, this brace was loose. It just stuck on the ends of the pocket and was just sitting there. Um, your, um, this is the servo tray, and this right here is loose. There's, there's no glue on that. So I'm going to be fixing that. And if you look up towards the front, you'll see just the back of the firewall there. And you'll see there's triangle stock on each side, but not top and bottom. So I'm going to be um, correcting that. I'm going to be got some triangle stock and I got some really good uh, epoxy. I'm going to be putting that together. And there's some other areas I'm gonna, I'm gonna fix up. There's these two holes here, two pins, and there's some screws. Um, that's if you had an electric. So if you have an electric one, you could take these screws out, you could cut it loose, and then you could have a removable top. But if you're using gas, um, they don't recommend you do that. So the covering has not been cut, and I'm gonna leave it that way. So right here is where the um, tank for the retracts will go. Um, it came with a plastic fuel tank, which uh, I'm not going to use. I'm going to use a rotoflow, so I'm going to have to modify this area here, um, which will be easy to do. I'll just modify that to accept a uh, a rotoflow tank and. Um, if you see if you see glue in here right now, I've already put it there. Uh, there's a lot of areas that, while I had some other mixtures, I went ahead and just came in and hit stuff. And then uh, I've talked to some flying buddies who do planes like this and just asked for their advice. And uh, good epoxy, like I have uh, I have some West System glass. I have some epoxy. I have filler. I have a uh, device for various glues. Normally you'd see this much glue when you're building one, but uh, this is for an ARF. But uh, uh, back in the 80s, if somebody had an ARF, you would sit back and get some popcorn and watch them fly and see what happens, because normally you'd see a good show, something coming apart. Anyhow, um, um, as far as the construction, I'm happy with it. Everything seems to be straight. I'm happy with the quality of wood. The uh, I'm, I'm very pleased to have this plane, um, but like an R, there, there's things that you, you have to do, you know, perhaps for your liking, but uh, I'm going to go ahead and take care of these things. Anyway, I just figured I'd do a quick video of uh, the new gun scale uh, P47. Hope you enjoy.